So if you're experienced in that error and you've got Windows 7 32-bit, download this particular file here. I'm pretty sure it's at least this particular file here. You may have to install Google Chrome or another web browser or download it from another PC to be able to actually get it. And I'll get this downloaded and we'll install it. So I've loaded up Chrome instead and been able to download it. But it's got install this update to resolve issues in Windows for complete for complete issues that is included in this update. See the blah blah blah. No, I was hoping that would actually mention a bit more. And right now, IE is failing. We go download and run this file. Search computer for updates. Do you want to install the standalone update? Yes, we do. Play the waiting game here. After this, we restart the computer. And as I mentioned, if you're running the 32-bit version of Windows, which should say 32-bit operating system, this is the particular fix you will need to run. So I'm not demonstrating in this one the 64-bit version. I will try and find that and also link that in the description as well. But let's restart. Let's check. Checking for updates. It hasn't instantly cracked it with me. And hopefully it hasn't cracked it with you. So I'm going to leave this. If you're running a, a standard SATA hard drive, like one of these running Windows 7, this particular bit here might, might take you quite some time for it to calculate everything. Especially if you're running an older version of Windows 7 i.e. service pack 1 or no service pack. And with a little bit of waiting, you know, so we have various updates. You may have to install these in small little batches. It's fine if you try to install all of them at once. It tends to lose its mind a little bit, so you might have to install like 20, 30, 40 of them at once. Same with the optional updates. And hopefully from there you can get your Windows 7 32-bit all updated and functional once more. Hope this helps and see you later.